The ongoing tension between USA and China peaked at the beginning of this month when the United States House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited the conflicted region of Taiwan. The visit triggered a stark response from Beijing, sparking concerns of further geopolitical heat in and around the Indo-Pacific region. The rage was not just restricted to a heated exchange of words, but also military exercises on the border and numerous sanctions. Taiwan has been at the centre of geopolitical tension for some time. Taiwan has been an inalienable part of China's territory since ancient times. It was lost though to the Dutch for 38 years and then Japan for 50 before China reclaimed it. Over the last few years, the US has been advocating strongly for Taiwan's separation from China. At present, Taiwan has its own constitution and has a democratically elected government as well, separate to that of China and operating with what could be argued as a more democratic and free society. With Pelosi's arrival, the authority and command of China took what they believed to be necessary measures in response and stirred the geopolitical tensions in the region. As Speaker of the House, Pelosi is the highest level member of the US government to visit Taiwan in 25 years. On the day of her arrival, the Shanghai Composite fell by 0.71%. Taiwan's Taiex index recovered from the losses it made the entire day to close at 0.2% higher at about 14,777. Japan's Nikkei rose by 0.53% to more than 27,700. Overall, it was a red day for most indices. And now, almost two weeks later, there has been a slight recovery in the market. Yet, the threat of heated geopolitical tensions still looms over the Asian market. According to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, Taiwan's stock market saw a slight downturn around the time of Pelosi's visit, but has since seen a resurgence. Tech stocks like Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, United Microelectronics and Honhai Foxconn have followed the same trajectory. Taiwan's foreign exchange reserves were nearly $550 billion at the end of July, the sixth largest in the world and more than sufficient to cover imports or overseas debt obligations. Some flights in and out of Taiwan were cancelled or rerouted due to the heightened tensions, but commercial air traffic has since returned to normal. Various Asian currencies have suffered a great deal against the US dollar, and this month, the new Taiwan dollar hit a two-year low, reaching 30 new Taiwan dollars to the US dollar. But that is a sign of the US dollar's overall strength against many other currencies. Other than that, Hong Kong, Malaysia and Indonesian currencies have drastically plummeted. Amidst a global economic slowdown, the threat of a full-blown conflict between these two regions only makes things more complicated for Asian countries. Tensions between China and Taiwan, and the West for that matter, are truly at fever pitch. So the associated economic dilemmas are expected to continue for at least the short term. However, Taiwan notes that China's options of challenging the region economically remain limited. But experts have warned that serious damage could ensue if tensions with China remain as they are. What action would you like to see the West take against China? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and share the video. For more content, you can subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.